Hello everyone, in this video I'll guide you through resolving startup issues that I had with my system. First of all, we talk about correct positioning for DDR5 RAM slots. Second, troubleshooting slow boot times with AM5. And third, improving boot speed in Windows. First we talk about what I have. The motherboard is a MSI B650 Gaming Plus Wi5 Sockets AM5. CPU is AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D and the RAM is a G-Skill 32GB DDR5, 6000MHz. So let's talk about the correct position for DDR5 RAM slots. The first problem I encountered was that the system wouldn't start at all. This was because the DDR RAM was not installed in the correct order. Always ensure that your RAM sticks are installed in the correct slots. With the AM4 socket, this issue was less critical, and the system would still start. But with AM5 socket, the RAM must be installed correctly. For example, for dual sticks for motherboard, they need to be placed in slot DIM A2 and the other one in DIM B2, for my motherboard of course. The slots are numbered on the motherboard itself, if not, refer to your motherboard's manual for more information, because every motherboard is different. Second, troubleshooting slow boot times with AM5. The first time I fired up my computer, the motherboard was showing red and yellow indicator lights, and I had to wait almost a minute for it to start up. It's normal for the first time he will do the memory training. But after a few days starting my computer, I was still waiting for ages to get in Windows. This delay due to memory recalculating itself every time. Here's what I did to fix it. Ensure your BIOS is up to date. In the BIOS, look for Memory Context Restore and disable it. Restart your computer into Windows, then shut it down. Turn the computer back on and go back into BIOS. Then enable Memory Context Restore again. Depending on your motherboard, you might be able to leave this setting disabled. But I re-enabled it on mine. Now, when I restart my computer, the orange light is gone. There was only one white light at the beginning and the problem was fixed. It's very weird that the problem is fixed because I disabled it and re-enabled it and now he runs great. The last thing I always do is improve your boot speed in Windows. To further improve the startup speed, type msconfig in the search bar and press enter. Go to the boot tab and set the timeout to 15 seconds or less, but I think 15 is a sweet spot. The default is usually 30 seconds if I'm not mistaken. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to help. This method worked for me, but you might have a different issue or a different motherboard with slightly different settings. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you.